Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a glitch transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So for today's video, we're going to be using a free Premiere Pro preset that includes 15 different glitch transitions that we can use. So all you need to do is come to this website. Again, links in the description down below. We're going to be coming to the download section right here. Simply enter your email, click suite, and then a download link will appear. Once the download link appears, simply click on it. A download will begin. From this point, you need to move the preset to a location where you can find it easily. In this case, I have it on my desktop right here. And we just need to extract the contents of this zip file. And we're going to be able to see here exactly what we get. One is the glitch sound effects and two is the glitch transitions. We actually get 20 sounds included that we can use to actually use with the transitions. And we also get our glitch transition preset file, which is a .prfpset file that we're going to be installing in Premiere Pro. So once you have this downloaded and extracted somewhere, you can find it easily. What we're going to be doing is opening up Premiere Pro and have any project you want open. We're going to be coming to our effects tab. If you can't find it, simply come to window and click on effects. We're then going to be coming to the top of the effects window. We're going to be clicking on the burger menu right here, and we're going to be clicking and searching for the import presets option. If we click this, we'll then be able to locate to where our presets are downloaded. So for me, they're on my desktop in the folder, and you can see I can select my preset file right here. If I click open, my presets will start to install. And you'll notice right here at the very top, we actually have a folder specifically for installed presets. If we open this up, we'll see all the different presets we have installed. And what we're going to be doing is looking for the film crux glitch transitions. And you can also use the search bar above to just search for crux, which will help find and actually show you all the transitions directly. However, if you're having issues finding this, maybe just quickly restart Premiere Pro. Now to actually use these, they actually give us some nice helpful tips. You can see beside each actual transition, it says some frames before and after. So in this case, if we use the classic glitch A, we can see two frames before and two frames after. And this will give you an indication or some of the best practices you can use to actually use these effects. In this case, I currently have two pieces of stock footage right here. What I'm gonna be doing is zooming in on my footage right here by using the scroll bar here at the bottom and just zooming into the middle. So I can see between where my cut is and that's where I'm going to be adding my effect. So in this case, I'm not going to be adding the effect directly on top of my video track. Instead, I'm going to be adding it to an adjustment layer that I'm going to be adding on top of my two video tracks right here. To do this, what I'm going to be doing is coming back to my project window. If you can't find a similar to window, come to projects and then select the project you're currently working on. We're going to be coming down to the bottom right of this. I'm going to be collecting new item and then I'm going to be looking and clicking for the adjustment layer right here. All the predefined settings should be just fine for our video track. Simply click OK and then our adjustment layer will be created. I'm going to be putting this on top of in between the cut of my two video tracks here. I'm going to be zooming in a bit more and I'm going to be cutting this adjustment layer to match the text that showed up on the effects transition. And it says two frames before and two frames after. What I'm going to be doing is coming right here to the center. I'm going to be going back two frames by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. One, two. I'm going to be opening up my cut tool with C and I'm going to be cutting my adjustment layer here. And I'm going to be going two frames forward. One, two with the right arrow on your keyboard. Cutting it here. I'm going to be opening up my selection tool again by clicking V on my keyboard. And I'm going to be deleting the adjustment layer before and after. And here I have an adjustment layer that's going to be two frames before and two frames after. From this point, what I'm going to be doing is coming back up to my effects control panel. And I'm simply going to be dragging and dropping my classic glitch effect onto my adjustment layer, which you'll see will instantly give us this transition effect right here. Now, of course, you can choose and play around with all of these different glitch effects. You can see it gives a nice effect and you can play around with this then to get exactly the effect you want. So from this point, you can also add a sound effect. For today's video, I'm not going to be doing that. Anyway, guys, it's that easy to add glitch transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro. Links to everything in the description down below. If you want to suggest any other videos you'd like me to make, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get around to them. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.